All right, we're back in the shop today. So what we're gonna try to do is, um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, what we're gonna try to do today is make a um, French cleat um, cabinet system. So what I wanna be able to do is mount some French cleats on the, uh, the wall of the actual trailer, uh, and then actually be able to take the shelves on and take the shelves off. Um, we have some extra wood to do it. It's pretty easy. Uh, so I'm gonna make I'm going to try to make two three foot sections uh, today and um, I'll show you what I'll show you how to do that. All right, let's go. All right, so let's talk about <clears throat> drawing up. So this is gonna be the ends. So each one of these boards can represent um, each one of the end pieces. And then what we're gonna do is just take a two by uh, one by six, but a one by six in real life is like 0.75 times 5.5. And so if we know that, what we can do is we can set our base to five and a half inches. So all I did was mark a five and a half inch. Came here with my speed square. Uh, went to 45 degrees and measured out another five and a half inches. Boom, drew that line and that's gonna be my face. So to see how tall it's gonna be, all I did was take my speed square again, measure up five and a half inches, drew a line across. So at that point I realized that all I gotta do is cut this in half and it can represent the face of my uh, quick shelf that I'm gonna do. Because on the back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna splice, I'm gonna split a one by six, and I'm gonna put a 45 degree angle on that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow those two 45 degrees, they're gonna like catch on each other, and that's what's gonna hang the shelf. So I know that doesn't make sense. I'm not very good at explaining it, uh, but let's uh, get to cutting, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're done cutting. All right, so these two are gonna be the ends. All right, so what we're all we're doing is we're taking these guys. This is gonna be the bottom. Another piece is gonna be the back, and then the other piece is gonna go right here, and there's gonna be this little face right here, which adds a little bit of style, I think. Some people might wanna cut it off. I don't, I like it. All right, so how we're gonna actually mount these. So French cleats are, are I'm pretty sure they're called French cleats. This is what they are. Um, all you do is you just take a piece of board, like I did. You cut it down right down the middle. Um, at a 45 degree angle. So if you can imagine this being the wall, all right, so you're gonna mount it just like this. So where that, this edge is out into the open and this edge is not. And all you're gonna do is take this one, all you're gonna do is take that one, you're gonna screw it onto the back of your shelf, and then all you're gonna do is be able to simply put it down like this, and it's gonna lock that in place. Um, it's very sturdy, and then if you need to move them, all you have to do is pick the whole shelf up, and then unscrew this, and then you're on your way. Uh, we're gonna try them out, and uh, let's see how they come out. So here's the first design. Uh, I, I did a 45 degree angle right here because I thought it'd make it look that that make that transfer look a little better. Um, but there it is. So they're about three foot long, and they'll have deep pocket. That way they're gonna sit, this one's gonna sit up above the serving window. Um, so let me explain what I was talking about earlier. All right, so, all right, see a little 45 degree angle right here? All right, so this piece is gonna be mounted on the wall, right? So then all I have to do is just take the whole entire shelf and it clip is in like that and it's remarkably strong. So that's what I'm gonna do with there. All right, so let's take a look at this other one. 
All right, so right here I decided to do uh, more 45 degree angles, okay? So I did one, the two right there on the bottom, and then one, another one up there. So that way it gives it a better look when you're looking at it from the front because this one is gonna be uh, directly across from the, see it kind of looks a little cleaner. It's gonna be directly across. Yeah, there you go. So basically this is what you customers are gonna be able to see. And then I'll be able to have little bins up inside of here and it will be able to be organized better and it'll just give overall better look and more storage you can get inside of a small space is better. All right, everybody, so that's it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for um, following along on the journey. Uh, those of you who reached out to me, it really means a lot, okay? Um, this is kind of a dream to own my own business, so I'm really excited. Uh, I can't. I, I can't wait to be able to serve Marines good coffee. And as che cheesy as that sounds, I really mean it. Um, you know, I think these guys do a lot, uh, especially support Marines. Uh, they don't get enough love. It's not all about the recon guys and, and everybody else. So, you know, the guys that are getting up at, you know, have to be to work at 6 a.m. and 5 a.m. And, and all that stuff and day in, day out. Um, they don't get to do different routines every day. And, and a lot of people uh, don't realize how much of a pain in the butt that is. Uh, so anyway, uh, from all of us at Pine Stand Coffee Company, thanks guys for watching. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, follow us on YouTube. Ah, sorry, follow us on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook, and hopefully we'll be up and running by the end of March. All right, guys, have a good day. Guys, I think my espresso machine's here. 160 pounds of glory. I think it's about to come off the truck. <laughs>